then came what 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 changed my life mm -hmm. because you know it's like the 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 worst thing I ever did the darkest thing in me in my opinion mm -hmm. you know it's like uh, and it's almost embarrassingly small actually it's it's like someone that I bullied when I was like 13 and she was a girl like five you know and uh, it, it has been it, uh, been so embarrassing that I never mm -hmm. I just hid it away because I thought if I tell that I tell anyone that I'm capable of doing things like this they would never be with me you know so and I think we all have that we have something that is the worst in our opinion uh, about ourselves. There, all, there, there are always some side of us that we hide from others. Shame. Yeah. And suddenly, all of this light becomes like its smaller parts, and all of them are standing like this. And what they're showing me is exactly that: the darkest part of me. You saw it as a picture? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. It's like it's played out. It's like they're holding this. But it's 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 a little difficult to, to use words for something that is, you know, it's like, imagine you look at a small screen a hundred meters away and you just zoom in. And you see it like this. Do you, do you just get what I mean? Yeah. Um, so you can even zoom in on tiny details on it. You, you know, there's there's like not distance is is isn't, but it's so you see this image of all of them there, and then you see what, yeah, you get it. And then the reason why they show me this is that they they want to hurry and say. This is what we love the most. The most? The most. I'm making the words, you know? So you can maybe also say, this is what needs our love. Mm. Um, so, but, but what happens is that, you know, this... Just imagine yourself being like these little, little pieces, these Lego pieces on top of each other. Starting from white, you go gray, and then the, the black one is at the bottom. You know, when you show that you love the black one, mm -hmm. what happens to all the rest? Like, all turn white, you know? Mm -hmm. There never was anything to be ashamed about. Mm -hmm. That's what so happened beautiful. to you was that you were a human being, and mm. this happens to human beings, you know, all the time. Mm. Uh, don't there is nothing to hide. No judgment. No judgment, and that's and that's the kind of the insight of the realization mm. that I get. It's like there are no words here. There are no definitions. You cannot look at something and say, wow, that's a cat, because it's like, there are no words. Mm. Oh. It, because it's like instant experience of, of that which you see. It's like, it, you cannot actually see a cat without being the cat. Do you see what I mean? It's it's like, it's like the light from both sides. Is so, that the oneness that we're talking about? Uh, yeah, um, yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah. It's so. So it's like you experience the cat being you, experiencing the cat, and the cat experiencing you, and uh, you know, it's like, and you also get the situation like from there, and it, it's all available to you. You just kind of, it's like instead of having a position in the situation, you instantly grab the whole situation, kind of. You know, you're you're everywhere at the same time, and there's only one me. Uh, but but this yeah, the but this. You know who is to judge me? Me. Uh, 
So me is judging. And me was always all of this. All of the judged, all of the not judged, all of the everything, you know? Which, which makes sense to the feeling that I suddenly have, you know, from, from being this falling in love state on the way into the light. Suddenly when I'm inside of the light, this feeling changes and it, it's like complete harmony, total balance. And when I say total balance, it, it's because, you know, you could have like a, a weight, you know, a weight like this, and you have like one liter of milk there and one liter of milk there and it's total balance. But it's really easy to disturb that balance completely because you just have to take away one liter of milk and it's complete unbalance. But this, it's like everything is already there. All the parts of everything or all the parts of me, they're welcome here on this weight, this scale, you know? So it can never lose its balance because it acknowledges all parts of itself. So suddenly it's like you realize that the imbalance that I was acting out, being a comedian, you know, was saying, this is a dark one, this is not needed for comedians, this is something I'm embarrassed about, this is... So it's like you're taking something off this weight and then it's complete unbalance. Mm. And here there is no such thing as imbalance because it embraces everything. I am everything. Um, so that's what I realized that, you know, this is not a place that choose not to judge. This is a place where that concept doesn't even exist. Yeah, I, you know, it's strange to be able to feel this, but I feel that I am before it was was invented. It, it's like it's like reality is before we go here and play something else or whatever we want. So, so it's like it it can be invented by the ego or the uh, our bodies or our minds, you know, but. Here, it cannot happen. It's not a true self. Mm -hmm. So, so that's what I realized that I am a kind of a, a creature or a part of something that doesn't have the ability to judge. So, judging ceases to exist, and that realization is what takes me further to the next phase, okay. which is to look at my life or, you know, the passing of my life or whatever. Oh, the life review? Yeah. So, so now I can look at my life without the misunderstanding that we have here. I, I, cannot, I cannot look at it to figure out, was I the third worst did I just lead the third worst life of all time? Or was I being between the five best ever? Um, it, it's not possible here. You cannot judge it. So suddenly, completely without fear, I can look at my life and see, see it for what it is. Hmm. The question is, what was this? What was the experiences? that was captured uh, in in what I call my life. So you understood your whole life in a way? Uh, yeah. yeah. It, mm, mm, but I don't like the word understanding because to me understanding goes here. And this is like without this. It's, it's, it's like you're being everything. There is no need for understanding, you know? So what's the reason for the life review then? The, the point is to see what it was okay. what was my life just acknowledge it to kind of you know it feels that this review is much more for us than for me because us and me is the same here so it's kind of on the way in it's 
the reason I went into the physical was to experience something that hasn't been experienced. So at, at the same time right now, we experience from the same situation two different experiences. Uh, and, and that's what we're here for. It's like there's a string in the back of your neck. It, it kind of goes up to this light. And so and that's what fills you. That's like the life in you, you know, if you see just the body laying around, being dead, the life isn't in it anymore, you know? So the life in it is like, it is that light. In my view, that's the light is that life. And then we just we just did it in a way so that our eyes, the physical eyes that we make, cannot see the light because then we wouldn't see anything else, if you see what I mean. It's like we would see straight through the experience. We and wouldn't have the real or the experience exactly. without the veil or with the... Yeah, yeah, yeah without think of it as like a, like a gel, you know, who is everything, mm. but wants to experience that everything which it is. So it's it splits up in small parts or it sends out it, its rays and whatever the rays hit, someone exp uh, show up, you know, it's, it's, someone is born or whatever. And then the, ex the, the one experiencing all of this is the, the, this gel, but also the one who is at the end of the ray you know, you and me and everybody else. And, and I think the thing that I took away from that, the life review, was actually how much I had misunderstood life, kind of, mm. or understood life, because everything that I had understood, I had also judged. Because you cannot understand without saying, I'm finished now. I've come to the end. I've come to the conclusion. Now I understand. But life never does that. Not Life never ends. So if you meet another person and then after five hours you say, yeah, I understand her now, then you mm -hmm. create an illusion of her. And then... A limited uh, yes. conclusion. So then suddenly I interact with this illusion instead of interacting with you as you are. I see that. Because then you have defined who I am exactly. and I'm ever changing. So you're like, no, you're like this. And I'm yeah. like, no, I'm exactly. <laughs> I was that a second ago. So whatever ago. you try to add, I said, no, no, I understand. I understood you <laughs> years ago, you know, it's <laughs> like, so, 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 because that's the, that's the insight or the experience that I get from that is that all the things that I judged isn't there. Because whenever I judge, I'm not experiencing anymore. I'm, I'm creating an illusion and thinking something about that illusion instead of sticking with the movement of life. Just, you know, it's like, a, you know, the, the skin of the trees, the bark. Mm -hmm. It's, it's like you put yourself on a boat, tiny boat of bark, and you embark on the river. And life is the river, not the boat or you. It's like, so, so life is something that is always living. Mm -hmm. And when we understand, it's like you become the person on top of that little bark boat. And then you are finished, you know, because then the trip doesn't exist anymore. So it's like life is like a journey when you let the journey guide you. Mm. But as soon as you start to guide the journey, life has nothing else to do than just stop and wait. But, but are you talking <laughs> about surrendering in a way? It's talking about? Surrendering? Uh, and 
No, yeah, uh, I'm, if, what I'm talking about is like the experiencing of judgment. What it what it does that that walking around here putting labels on things mm. is making life bad. Mm. Um, I can give you an example. When I was like four or five years old, it's one of the first things in that I remember. It's like sitting in my father's lap, and he was, you know, in a he had this book with animal drawings in them, mm. and he taught me that that's a giraffe because it has like a long neck and four long legs. Okay, and I and I learned that a giraffe has a long neck, four long legs, mm. and. It took like 38 years before I thought, gave any more thought to that. Because w whenever I saw a giraffe or a picture of it, yeah, it's a giraffe, I know what it is. But then suddenly I was at this zoo in Denmark where they have this thing that you, you can climb up so you get level with the head of the giraffes. Mm. And I was suddenly looking into the eyes of a giraffe like, this big mm. like with these and i saw a whole universe in there you know mm. Mm. i was c completely like drowned in there and then suddenly i realized that you know if a giraffe had come to me and said oh yeah you're a human being because you have one head two hands two arms and two legs i would of course think that but you know if that is all you know about being a human being, you know nothing. Mm. Because being a human being is what goes on inside. Mm. So I realized that I had just stopped um, the giraffe. At, because that's what I do when I try to understand. My dad says, this is a giraffe. And then, oh yeah, 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 now I get it. And then I stop. Just try and think right now, the last time you sat eating breakfast, thinking, well, what is it that I really know? And, oh yeah, I know that. And then decide to think some more about it. We don't do that. We think that what we know is what we know, and it's behind us, you know? So just think about all the animals that I was finished with when I was like five, six years old. So. So it isn't so strange that we walk around being, you know, out of, against, you know, it's not against our better knowledge, but it's as a five-year-old dealing with a cat, mm. you know? So, of course, you pull its tail and it, it, you do things to the cat that isn't good to it. So it's like we're... Since we know trees and know nature and know everything around us, it is to us dead. Mm. So we don't interact with it. We treat it as it is like things that belong to us that we can do something with. Yeah. Um, so so, so, yeah. so that's the kind of the teaching from this is that you know, don't turn life into all the things. And life is living. It is, it is giving all the time, you know. It is the giver of experience, kind of, you know. And th that is also the light, you know. Um, and let's go back to your near-death experience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you had this life review. I was just wondering, did you get a choice to go back at some point? Uh, yes. Yes, I did. Because when, when I was finished viewing my life, the experiences of my life, it, it kind of didn't take any time at all, it, you know, because I had mostly been judging my life instead of uh, experiencing it. Then I came to this final stage place which is totally different from all all the others because it's like it's suddenly I'm back into a very physical place again mm -hmm. it's, it's like when I go in there I go through a door which isn't a door and it says death 
I, I know I'm entering into death because I just know that. And then when I come in, I turn around and I see the inside of the door, which is now a door because now it's suddenly it's a physical place again. And on the inside of that door, it says birth. And there's another door on the other side, and it also says birth. And it's the only two doors out of here. And this room, it's like, it's not a square room. It feels like it's a, no, um, almost like an inside of an egg or something, because it's like, there's no sharp corners or squares here. You know, it's, uh, and it's not round either, because it's like, a longer distance that way than it is th this way so it's like oval kind of so which makes me just think that it, it, it looks like an egg and um, I, it's very simple what happens there i just get this question do you want to go further which i know then is that door or do you want to go back? Which is back the door that I came in. Is there a being saying this or do you no. just hear it? I just hear it. There's just me and the egg. And, um, and it's also not sound. It's like a question from my heart. Kind of, I, I, I'm just a completely different being, being there. And it's the most difficult thing I ever did because it, the door that I didn't walk through is like it has the same magnetism as, as the light. It's like it feels like home, where I'm heading, where I'm, where I belong, where I, you know, where everything exists, kind of. But it's just the, yeah, I, the, I, I, I exactly like right now. I have to go back. Since you're asking me this I, I, right now, I have to go back. But I, 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 it's like I really don't want to. Because it's like what I've seen on the way into this egg is like myself 30, 38 years earlier, because I was 38 at this point. And I see, I see that. I've been part of this, planning this from the very beginning, kind of. That you were going to die? Yeah. Oh, so, I'm, so it was I'm, part of your plan? Yeah. yeah. Oh. But, uh, of course, I didn't know that, but I, I, suddenly I saw that. And it, because it was about going into a world and learning how to describe with images something that people can relate to. And being a comedian is a very good way of practicing that because mm. if people don't laugh, they haven't seen what is funny. If they laugh, they see it. So it's like giving giving people images by words or by your body language mm. and you get an instant um, um, you know, realization whether they got it or not. So, and then, you know, it's like almost like going through hell because that's oh, what hell that's back what, oh, hell. And then, and then I was supposed to then learn this and then get another content and then use that tool to bring it, no? And that's what I've been doing since. So just recap just, a little bit. You mm -hmm. uh, uh, went to th uh, through this egg, or, or you saw these two uh, alternatives, and you felt, I have to go back because this is part of the deal, the plan. And yeah. then you went through a hell-like experience again? No. no. No? Oh, okay. It was like the, the first part of my life, you know, the comedian oh. life which was like hell because oh, you know okay. everything was about that one hour on stage every night yeah. and then the rest of the day would be hell because i was like yeah. drinking or whatever to just make sure that i didn't feel the wrong thing 
that wouldn't bring me on stage tonight, which I have to. Mm. So it was like being a zombie for 23 hours a day mm. and living only for that one hour. Um, and then that's when you have to perform, you know? Mm. So it's, that's um, what I mean when going through hell, picking up another content and then wow. bringing that. So, well, thank you so much for sharing your story. <laughs> <laughs> and I know we could speak for hours, oh, yeah. <laughs> but we have to move on. <laughs> um, but uh, I just want to say that you're now doing talks mm. and talking about this and you're still using, you know, the comic side of you. And I think that's such a great integration of all these part of you. And I just, you know, had a wonderful coffee with your girlfriend and she was saying that you're so free and... Uh, and that is all, it's really important to, you know, embrace the whole self. We talked about that too. Mm -hmm. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We actually talked much longer before we started taping it, didn't we? Yes, and we were like, oh my goodness, we have to start the interview. Yeah. But thank you so much. Uh, we might talk again, I feel like. Uh, I'd love to. <laughs> Thank you for watching guys. Much light from Drammen i Oslo. Bye bye.